What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Razer Chroma Profile lighting tutorial. For my keyboard lighting design today, I've decided to recreate Booga's keyboard lighting design. He, imagine he's dead if I'm on controller. <gasps> had a lot of requests from you guys asking for this design and I actually think you guys are going to be wildly surprised to see how easy it is to do. Now Booga does use a Steel Series keyboard but we're going to show you guys how you can get his keyboard lighting design on your Razer keyboards. So let's get right into it. All right guys, to make this design in the Razer Synapse program, we're gonna be in the Studio tab up here. So make sure you click on that Studio tab and you're gonna see this right here. We're gonna click on these three dots and we're gonna click Add. This is gonna give us a brand new profile. If you're currently working in a profile, make sure you save that. So here we are with a brand new profile. It's always gonna start you out with a spectrum cycling layer over here on the left. And what we're gonna do first is we're going to add a wave layer on the bottom left. Just click on Wave. And we're going to click on the spectrum cycling layer that we have here and we're going to hit this trash can to delete that. Now with this wave layer selected right here, we are going to hold control and I'm just going to zoom in, scroll wheel zoom in on my keyboard. So I'm just focusing on my keyboard right now. So now that we're all zoomed in on the keyboard, we're going to select all of our keyboard lighting options for our keyboard here. And we're gonna click on this color drop down here, this gradient bar here. And we're gonna click on this three node color pattern here. So you got three nodes, one, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this middle node and we're gonna slide it over a little bit. And we're gonna make this middle node right here light blue. And we're gonna click this addition symbol right here. And this new node that we got, we're going to make dark blue, just like this. Now we're gonna go back to this first node here and we're gonna make it magenta or pink. And we're just gonna leave that node right there, just like that. And this last node here, we're also going to make magenta. We want the majority of our bar, about 50%, you can see from this display, this preview up here, you want about 50% of your bar to be that pink color. So we're just going to kind of even it out here a little bit, but the majority of our bar is going to be pink, just like this. That looks good to me right there. I'm going to click off of my window there to get into my details. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle my pattern, my wave pattern down at 180 degrees. We're gonna change our speed to one, and that's all we're gonna do for this layer. So now you can see I kind of have that retro wave pattern that Booga has on his keyboard. Next, we're gonna work on his reactive white light that kind of just spreads horizontally across the board. And for that, we're gonna add a ripple layer. So come down here to the bottom left and we're gonna click on ripple to add that new layer. And with this new ripple layer, we are going to select line by line. So each row on our keyboard, we're going to select and make a slightly different color white. We're gonna select this top row right here. I'm gonna click on this color drop down, and I'm gonna choose this single node pattern right here. And I'm going to click on the node, double click on my hex code here, and I'm gonna use six Fs as a hex code, which is gonna be a white color. I'm gonna click off of that, and I'm gonna make my width percentage 400%, just like this. And I'm also going to go down under playback and change it from on press to on selected keys. So now you're only gonna see a ripple come across these keys when I press a key on that row. And I'm just going to select one of these keys up here that we edited and control C that and control V it on the next layer. So here um, we have the same exact properties as we did on that first row and I'm going to click my color drop down and I'm just going to change the second digit by one value so I'm going to go from F to E so this is still going to be a white color and it's hardly noticeable but it is actually different 
which makes it separate from the first row. Same thing with the next row. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna control V to paste in that white color. And I'm gonna click on my drop down, and I'm gonna make this one different from the, the second row even. And I'm gonna make the fourth digit on here an E. So now all three rows that we've made so far are independent of each other and they don't react the same way. So we're just gonna continue this and I'm gonna select these ones. All Fs except the last digit, I'm gonna make an E. And same thing with the next row, paste in that white. And I'm gonna make the second digit an E and the fourth digit an E. So we got two E's on this one. And I'm only changing that hex value by one value. So you don't even notice a difference in the white. And our last row, I'm gonna select all that, paste in that white color, and I'm just gonna make this one an E on the end, and an E is the second digit. And we're gonna hit save. And that is all you guys have to do to make Booga's keyboard lighting design. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more Razer keyboard lighting designs. As always with all of my designs, there will be a download link in the description below if you want to just go down there and download this profile. Otherwise, I really hope you guys learned a little bit about Razer Synapse today and I hope I taught you guys something. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.